You insist I'm at will? Okay. I think enough time has passed that I can tell this one. It also helps that I'm actively switching industries. I was a teacher at a charter school. For those not fully in the know charter schools are public adjacent schools. While public schools in the USA are governed by a government body and have unionized teachers, charters are governed by their charter and otherwise free to operate within that charter as they please. Two key features of the one I was at was that we were not unionized and we were at will. I've bounced between schools all my life and I've always been pro-union. Union schools are always better to teach at for many reasons. So when I was approached by a small group of senior teachers I leapt at the chance to join the efforts. Most teachers at this particular school don't seem to make it past 34 years. It's a very tough school to work at. The bosses can't seem to explain why but I think we all know exactly why. Our demands were few and I felt reasonable. In retrospect it doesn't really matter. As it turned out the way union proceedings work it eventually has to be brought to everyone's attention. The bosses got wind of it and called a mandatory all-employees meeting. And as I surveyed the room as people spoke I realized the union wasn't going to happen. The number of people outspoken against the union was larger and louder than the number of pro-union. Now that I'd been identified as pro-union my days were numbered. And I needed an exit strategy. The next school year our school had one month of mandatory training for staff in August before. Students arrived. I attended that as normal and never gave a clue I was looking for other jobs. I secured one. A public school district desperate to fill a last minute slot before the beginning of the year. It had pay transparency and a union and clear procedures for write-ups and firing. I asked for a meeting with the principal and handed him my resignation about less than a week before the school year started. I told him this was my right as an at-will employee. This is one of the main things the union was against. We'd seen too many questionable and immediate firings. And I quit. Play at-will games? Win at-will prizes. While public schools in the USA are governed by a government body and have unionized teachers. Teachers are only unionized in some states. In many states, there is no teachers union. Good for you. At will employment goes both ways. But as usual, employers want to play the game of rules for thee, not for me. Where I work you have to give them 60 days but they can fire you on the spot. Nonprofit private special ed. No union. Then what happened? Your story's missing the fallout. Well done. I don't understand the negative comments. You did good. And the MC is pretty clear. I would have waited until 855 am on the day of the first class. Mind you, but you did good. You say, our demands were few and I felt reasonable. In retrospect it doesn't really matter. And then you just drop the hammer with. I told him this was my right as an at-will employee. This is one of the main things the union was against. We'd seen too many questionable and immediate firings. Honestly, this story lacks a lot of punch because of how you told it. If you hadn't brushed off the demands of the union entirely, especially including that one of the big ones was moving away from at-will employment. And given a little more info, the MC at the end would have hit harder. Even just a line of, one of the bigger points the union wanted to tackle was that our contracts were at will and there had been some questionable firings at the school. Without having a proper buildup, this just reads as, my school kinda sucked. So we tried to unionize. But it wasn't a popular idea. So I quit, rather than an MC. It's not a particularly strong MC. At that. How is this malicious compliance? Honestly, charter schools are a right-wing cancer in the school system. 
Bravo. I am pro. Good. Not screwed up. Union always. Good for you. Since you're a teacher, can you use some more commas in your text? It was sort of hard to decipher. Ah, just curious. Was this a KIPP school? So the majority was against a union. You were rehired for the school year. No mention of your employment being threatened. You resigned after taking another job. Where's the malicious compliance? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.